To God be all the glory and the honor on today. Well, today my subject or my thought will be in Tyler, more than enough, more than enough. I want to define the subject on today. Well, more than enough means is having extra left over to meet the needs of others. You are blessed to be a blessing. Believers, I stopped by today to let you know that Jehovah Jireh is more than enough to survive, supply all our needs, all our needs, according to his riches in glory. Jesus is more accurate, more than enough, more than sufficient, quite sufficient. We have limitations, but Jesus have no limitations. Well, Luke chapter 9, verse 10 through 17, it's Jesus' provision. Well, Jesus tells the disciples to have the mother to, to sit down in groups of 50. And he take the five loaves and the two fishes and he prays a prayer, a blessing. And then he began to hand out to the disciples what are to be hand out to the mother too. Well, in verse 17, you see that the results was everyone ate, everyone was filled to be full, everyone was satisfied, and there was food left over. And this is, you understand, is the picture of the provision of Jesus or Christ for his people. You see, Jesus' provision of all souls' need of his people is geographically illustrated in this miracle. And feeding the mother too, Jesus intends to show that he alone is able to supply our needs, material and spiritually. Jesus himself is the source of life. And Jesus is able to give bread because he is what? He's the bread of life. But the miracle point beyond the specific gift of the bread to the giver are that gift. God, the son who provides for the body and for the soul. Jesus is more than enough. Well, the children of Israel, in their time of need in the wilderness, were starving and they needed a supply of food. God provided them with the bread of heaven. Why? God was their supplier. He would supply their every need. The story of Elisha and the widow with the flour and oil and making of everything that she needed. Well, think of Elisha and the feeding of the hundred men with the barley cakes. Over and over in the Bible, there are miracle provisions which shows that God alone, God alone is able to supply everything that we need. You see, Jesus is able to supply it abundantly. So that when Moses was first telling the children in Israel about the manna, he had to tell them what to do and not to do with what was left over because God's supply was going to be abundant. God wants to let you know that he's about to move abundantly in your life. Can you believe it? Can you receive it? And Christ in providing the bread and the fish in such of abundance that 12 baskets of fragments was left over is indicated that Jesus is sufficient to provide for our needs now and forevermore. Those who Christ feeds, he feels. He never leaves you with room for just one more piece of pie or just one more slice of cake. When he feeds you, Jesus fills you. He fills you to the rim. 
there's always a super abundance. He always leave over 12 baskets. That's how generous he is in his provision. Well, I want to let you know that in the book of John, you learn that through, though this mother too loved it, his provision of bread and food. The mother too didn't get it about Jesus. They just did not get it. And I wonder if there are some amongst us today that just don't get it. You know the reason they don't get it is because we don't see what our really need is. We don't accurately believe that Jesus is able to feel it. We have our eyes on something we've lost or something that we have or something that we want for a moment, just a moment. Even if it's contradiction of everything that we believe. You see, we think that it is that we have lost or that which we have or that that we want that will feel us, will feel our desire, will feel our need. And so our eyes aren't even on Jesus for the provision, for the provision of our soul need. What are you standing in need of? And God in his kindness comes and he says, child, I know that you can't touch, taste, smell, or see my promises. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in your lips. I'm going to put it in your mouth. You're going to be able to smell it. You're going to be able to taste it. You're going to be able to see it. You even is going to be able to touch it. Because Jesus said, my promise is more real than the air you're breathing and is more real than other food that you taste. It's more real than the chair that you're sitting in. And the need that I can feel is what you really need. See, I come to tell you that Jesus is more than enough. And what you think you have lost and what you think you have and what you think you want. If it's anything other than Jesus, it's not what you need. See, the other struggle in our losses, the things that we want to hold on to, the things that we so desire, is that we do not believe that Jesus is more than enough. We do not believe that the Son of God can meet our needs. Do you know? that it's easy for him to supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. It's easy for Jesus. There's no question of his power to provide for you. The only question that there is, do you believe, do you really believe that Jesus is more than enough? Let us pray. Eternal Heavenly Father, we approach the throne of grace, God giving you thanks and giving you praise. And yes, God, we believe that you can supply all our needs. We believe that if we call upon you, you'll come. We believe that you still answer prayer and you still move in all situations. And God, yes, we understand that you are more than enough.